Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 10. I'm Ciara Speller. Pushback continues against Carvana's proposed vehicle processing facility in Southwick. Tonight, surrounding communities are now expressing their opposition for the project as well. 22 News reporter Sydney Snow is live in Agawam tonight. And Sydney, the town council there is introducing a resolution opposing Carvana's plan. Yeah, that's right, CR. City councilors citing that this project will have a negative impact on Agawam and its residents. And if passed, this resolution will be sent to Southwick's planning board. This is not for our community. Traffic will increase, roads will be destroyed, and a number of safety issues will arise. That's what Agawam city councilors are citing in their proposed resolution opposing Carvana's project. While the massive facility would be located in Southwick, most of the traffic in and out of the facility will greatly impact Agawam as well, as there is no highway access in Southwick. And it will disturb the uh, comfort of our, our people. At 6 o'clock in the morning, you're going to have 7, 8, 10 uh, car carriers going by. Meanwhile, in Southwick, the fight against Carvana continues. Thursday, the organization Save Southwick is set to hold a fundraiser. All of the proceeds will help support the legal fees associated with fighting Carvana. So we really want to take this moment to kind of bring people together, keep a conversation going, and um, keep the momentum going, keep people optimistic and let them know that, yeah, we're in the throes of it right now. We're not sure where we're going next, but um, we're going there together. The fundraiser is from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Southwick Inn on College Highway. Organizers are encouraging people from the surrounding communities to attend as well. The Southwick Planning Board is scheduled to meet next on July 20th for a public hearing on the Carvana project. Bringing you live in Agawam, Sydney Snow, 22 News.